All right. We're uh, pretty much in the middle of July here, well into summer. And what I've got here is wild carrot or queen, An queen Anne's lace. Um, and there's a very, very poisonous look-alike because Queen Anne's Lace or Wild Carrot has a white taproot that you can eat. Um, and it's very, very poisonous look-alike is Water Hemlock. So I'm going to take this opportunity to show you how to identify Wild Carrot. Um, and at this area where I'm at, I'm not seeing any uh, uh, water hemlock, and I thought I saw some uh, about a couple of weeks ago. Um, so I'm coming back to check again, but um, here's some Queen Anne's lace, and uh, here's a young flower head here. There's another young flower head there. And again, if this was water hemlock, I would not be touching it because it is highly poisonous. Um, it, it, it will kill you through asphyxiation. It shuts down your nervous system, so um, the brain stops sending messages so that you can breathe. Um, so it can, you know, uh, function, uh, uh, tells the lungs to expand and contract. But this is wild carrot or Queen's Anne's lace, and you can tell Queen Anne's lace generally um, by, um, well, first of all, the major um, identifier is you can see the, the hairy stalk. And if you look closely at the leaves, the leaves kind of look like wild carrot or bun a carrot, commercial carrot bunches that you normally see. And I'm going to go down further, and you can see the whole stalk is hairy. It's just hairy, not prickly, you know, so it doesn't hurt to touch it. But if it was smooth and had a purplish hue to it, then it's 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 it would be water hemlock, and you don't want to go near it or touch it, let alone eat it. Um, so one way I help that, that helps me uh, remember to identify. A Queen Anne's lace, and sometimes in some instances, um, like this flower head, you can see in the center there's like a like a mis miscoloration in the center there, and um, sometimes it's purple. And I like to say to myself that Queen Anne has a purple eye and hairy legs, meaning the stem. So that's what lets me know that this is Queen Anne's Lace and not Water Hemlock. So again, this is um, an edible plant. I've never eaten it. Um, and I'm wondering if I can dig, get up the uh, tap root to show you what it looks like. But um, I've never eaten it just because when there's a margin of error so I'm close, um, I don't, with, with wild edibles, I, I just... Uh, error on caution and safety, so I'm real conservative that way. But um, some people who may be more adventurous or um, are just wanting more information, um, this is what wild carrot looks like. And again, what I like to say is that um, Queen Anne has a purple eye, and in this case, in this flower head, there is no purple center, off color center, but the stem is hairy, meaning she's got hairy legs. Okay, here is the tap root of Queen Anne's lace, which would be the edible part of this plant. And again, I just wanted to show you. And it's too bad cell phones don't have a smell of vision um, because <clears throat> I can crush the leaves here and they smell like commercial carrots. And um, I can kind of bend or crush the uh, tap root here. And it smells like a carrot, even though it really doesn't, it vaguely looks like one to me. Um, so, you know, I just wanted to share, show this for educational purposes. Um, I'm not going to try this out because, again, I pref prefer to just err on caution. Um, I know I have positively identified this. Um, if not, then please let me know. Um, but um, this is Queen Anne's Lace or wild carrot and this is the tap root that's the edible part of the plant all 
All right, looks like we have a really fully matured plantain here. And I've been trying to follow this plant this year from spring to now. And these are some pretty broad leaves. We've had a lot of rain, a lot of moisture, and then a lot of heat, a lot of sunlight. So the plants are, not only are they fruiting, but uh, they're, they're kind of growing buck wild in the city here. And this is plantain, plantago major, um, or plantago species. And then here's a nice flower stalk, which will be basically as a seed stalk of plantain. So I wanted to make sure that I caught this and showed you what it looks like. Um, plantain is edible. It's one of your herbal allies. It's definitely a plant you want to get to know. Um, again, it, 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 it is an astringent plant, so the constituents in it um, pull or draw out. So they draw out poisons um, and toxins from mosquito, mosquito, mosquito bites and uh, uh, bee stings, wasp stings, and whatnot. Um, they also aid in skin cell regeneration, so any wounds or cuts or abrasions, you can just make a spit poultice or make a survival band-aid by chomping on the leaf and uh, to kind of open up some of the, uh, the, the pores in the plant and then you kind of stick it on your skin and it helps heal it. Uh, however, at this stage, the leaves are pretty broad and they're not going to be as tasty. You want to catch them really early. And then, um, you know, here's a small seed stem or flower head. This is how it reproduces itself. And um, this, these little granules here contain, will, will contain black little seeds that um, I hear people harvest. Um, it looks a little bit work intensive for the amount of, it, more, for the amount of uh, what you'll get out of it, meaning um, it's kind of caloric output versus caloric intake. Um, however, I can see ancient peoples or aboriginal peoples, if you're living completely 100% substance day by day by day, then you have the time and probably want to have the, um, want to make the effort to, to harvest um, the seeds and, and grind it to make, you know, flour for bread and whatnot. But um, I've never done it um, just because um, I've just never done it yet. Um, so, but I wanted to show a flower head here of plantain, and that's pretty much that's pretty much it. It's pretty mature right now, and these are some big old leaves.